Hi all, in this video we are going to see about refractory period. So this question can be asked as an answer briefly question or even as a physiological basis question or the physiological basis of refractory period. So we will see what this concept, concept is about. So first of all, what do you mean by refractory period? It refers to a period following an action potential during which a nerve fiber either does not respond or responds subnormally to a stimulus of threshold intensity or greater than threshold intensity. So whatever the stimulus is, the nerve fiber either does not respond or responds subnormally. So that is meant by refractory period. This will be more clear in the following slides. So suppose this is the action potential. Now a short period following the action potential, if you give a second stimulus, how much ever strong the stimulus might be, the nerve fiber will not respond. That is meant by absolute refractory period. Okay, So during this absolute refractory period, how much ever stimulus you give, the nerve fiber will not respond. Okay, And as you can see, this uh, begins soon after the threshold level till approximately up to one third of the repolarization phase. So after firing level to one third repolarization phase, we have the absolute refractory period. The next type of refractory period is a relative refractory period. Now during this time, if a stimulus of greater intensity is given, a second action potential can be or may be fired. But here the catch is the stimulus must be above the threshold stimulus. Only then the uh, nerve fiber will respond. So thus we have two types of refractory periods. One is absolute refractory period and the other is relative refractory period. So what is absolute refractory period? It occurs from the moment the firing level is reached until about one third of the repolarization is complete and during this time how much ever the stimulus is the nerve fiber will not fire. Why? Why is that you know, uh, uh, any stimulus however strong cannot excite the neuron? Well, That is because see we know that the reason for depolarization of a uh, uh, nerve fiber is opening up of the sodium channels. Now once the sodium channel is open they get inactivated quickly. See this is a structure of a sodium channel. If you have seen the video on the ionic waves of action potential you will understand this better. See a sodium channels have got an act activation gate as well as an inacti inactivation gate. During the resting time the activation gate is closed but once the threshold stimulus is reached the activation gate opens and sodium influx will occur and it is during this time that the potential becomes more positive because more sodium is being entered but as soon as this happens within 0.5 milliseconds the inactivation gate closes okay so because the inactivation gate closes the sodium can no longer enter so that is why we have this absolute refractory period because until these channels are reset again or until the inactivation gate opens again, the depolarization is not possible how much ever stimulus is applied. So that is the physiological basis for absolute refractory period because the sodium channels will quickly inactivate after opening. So what is the physiological base for relative refractory period? We said relative refractory period it starts from one third of repolarization to the start of hyperpolarization. So this during this time of relative refractory period if we have a stronger than normal stimulus it can trigger another action potential. So what's the physiological basis for this? Why, sh why does a stronger um, stimulus uh, trigger another action potential? Well that is because by this time that relative refractory period begins some sodium channels might have returned to an activatable state see which means this state in which case the sodium channels are closed but it is the activation gate that is closed so if there's a stronger stimulus the membrane potential can come back to threshold again and you can have a depolarization so that is the basis for relative refractive period so to summarize in absolute refractive period no action potential is generated regardless of the st stimulus strength the reason is the sodium inactivation gates gets closed. So the advantage, why does a nerve have an absolute refractory period? This is good because it limits the firing rate and ensures one-way conduction because the impulse cannot go back in the opposite direction as the sodium channels there would be inactivated. 
So this ensures that there is always a one-way conduction. Now what about relative refractive period? Action potentials will be produced only by supra-threshold stimulus and the physiological basis some sodium channels might be returning to the resting state and the difference is that the stronger stimulus is needed. So that is the concept about refractory period, absolute and relative refractory period. I hope this concept is clear. Thank you.